Hey there guys, I'm Ashes Vault, and today we are playing Oxygen Not Included, the Ranching Upgrade Mark 1. Um, by the time you guys actually see this, this video, uh, this update should in theory be out, because it should be out in 4 days according to this. So, probably won't be seeing this till mid-April or later. I don't know, I gotta look at my uploading schedule. But I wanted to show it off in this early stages, and then when the game comes out, or the, uh, the update comes out, you guys can maybe compare and see what's going on with it between now, there and now. Now I do have to start a brand new game from what I showed before, because, you know, things go wonky if you try and do that, and broken, and it just doesn't end well. So, one moment while I get this set up. Wow, things are already different. So it's been a while since I've played even myself. Just things kept getting up and I haven't been able to touch it. So now they don't even have uh, levels to them. That's interesting. Okay, so I think this is the team I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with Lindsay, whose interest is in operating and building. She has diver songs, which is awesome. She can't do research, which is okay. But because she's interested in building and has a plus two into construction, from my understanding of these new changes, that means she's going to learn construction faster and do them faster. So that means she's going to build everything quicker. And then of course she does have some other traits such as farming, strength, uh, ranching, which is new, and trinketing. And then we got Ruby here, my lovely little gem. She's going to be our main digger because she has plus three to digging and an interest in digging. As well, she can do ranching and tidying, which is nice. She has bonuses into ranching, which is still new, but we'll figure that out. She also has mole hands, so she's going to be our biggest helper, basically. She's going to dig through that dirt like mad. And then Mary here... Um... <clears throat> basically, she's just my... She's going to be my little hamster. She's going to just work on that research non-stop. Now, the, all their decor ratings is all at 30, negative 35. And they have fairly bad stress responses. But they're good with bad food. So that kind of kind of is okay. Um, and their name is going to be the Underground Pig Pen. That sounds good. Some bark with these guys and see what we can do. Alert! I don't care. Oh, we've got plenty of water, it looks like. I'll have them dig over here first. What I like to do, and I probably went over this before, if I didn't go over this before, then it's a new change that I've discovered. What I like to do is extend as far out to the darkness as I can for my first. Oops. For my first dig out because that just gives me a good like baseline to go with. And then I kind of stick with that making stairways up and down. Ooh, the slimy stuff already. Oh, and we have a little shine bug. So this area is going to be really good for our farming then. So, shine bugs, they produce light without any heat. Which means if you want to grow any of those bristle plants, the, the, the spiky ones that need a lot of light but very picky on the heat it gets, it's best to have a shiny bug because they can give light. Ooh, light. Oh, they changed the priority to urgency. What's this? Can we capture? Cannot wrangle. Okay. That's a new tool. It looks like they touched up the buttons too a little bit, which is nice. I mean, it's kind of cool looking. Just a tad though, I mean, they stand out more. Yeah, maybe I'm imagining things. Very possible. I like to put a little block up to help prevent any oopsies from getting in the water, if you know what I mean. There we go. We got water access to water. And we got the starts of a little farm thing going on over here. And we we can't do any of that yet. So let's do this. Let's just go up. 
I like to build pairs of twos, because then it, they move faster when they go up and down. What the fuck is that? Natural gas geyser. Oh, it's a template. For gas. Okay. So he hasn't made a new... Uh... Image for that yet. There's a lot of balm lilies here. Natural gas, I do not like to mess with. I don't like natural gas one bit. It's just hard to get used up and all that shit. <clears throat> okay, so right now I just have them building rooms, sectioning things off, getting things opened up. So. Probably gonna keep this side over here, maybe like plants or something. I don't know. Here, why do I actually let's have um we do this a little bit. Not here and here. So what I like to do is I wanna make sure that there's some space between the ladders and the door there. So you can put stuff there and you can like push airflow once you get the research equipment for it and all. That way, like, put some oxygen deoxidizers or algae here, or a wash basin that help prevent germs from going through. Section these off into rooms. Don't want to lose that shine bug in there, because I really hope he stays there. And behaves like a good little buggy. Look at him, he's just so happy dancing around. It's like he couldn't care less. Aww. He's so happy. I like him. Okay, so, here's my floor plan so far. So I got some bedrooms being made up here. We're ready for our next person, so I'm getting the fourth bed in. Then I'm also got this up here, which I'm thinking maybe will be like the kitchen-y area. Maybe more beds. I had to section it off, oddly, because of the water around. And I'm not sure what I'm going to use these two rooms for just yet. As well, there's rooms that are going to be built down here. I'm just basically trying to expand what as much as I need. That way everything is there when I need it. The only issue is, is we don't want to over expand too much. Because if we do that, then we're going to be using, spreading out what little oxygen we have across too many rooms. Which we're already having a bit of an issue with now. We're already low on oxygen. Um, you can't see the notification, but I have a warning stating that we're using we're low on oxygen for the amount of space we have. So we need to hurry up and get some research going for oxygen. Uh, carbon. Probably the best way to go. There is so many new things here. Whoa! Don't do that. That scares me. Ow! It's just a thing you get now. That's cool. Let's see, we're low on oxygen up here. Oxygen naturally rises, so we want to put it here. And then maybe one down here later. We can just connect one, however, right now. There we go. Alright, so let's see who's the new addition to our family. And I don't like any of them. No, that's a joke. I haven't actually looked. I like Frankie. Even though he can't cook, he can dig. 
and we need more diggers right now. Frankie, come on board. Let's see what you can do. Can't be that bad. Kind of like having an ant farm. Watching them do their thing, making their colonies. It's like... But yet, you realize you're the queen ant. You're the one responsible for their living. You can't watch them die. That would be cruel of you. Hey! We got stuff done! We're making progress! Carbon dioxide will always fall to the bottom, so we want to put these algae things towards the bottom so, you know, they can actually eat and do their job. And then, as we said earlier, oxygen rises. It actually uses fairly good sense. Common sense, almost. Want as many of these as we can. Even if they can't all be used, we'll get them all in. Compost. I don't know. Shove you in this hole. At least for now. So I'm trying this wrangle thing to capture creature alive. But I don't know what that's going to do. Or how that's going to work. So we'll find out. But I just don't want them to eat anything that's left in here. But I also don't want to kill them. Because they have their use eventually. We'll figure that out and see what it does. It's an adventure for the both of us. Alright, so I decided to turn this little room into basically a power room, or a generator room as I like to call them, because it's just easier to grid things. Instead of just putting a generator or battery pack with individual items, you put them in a certain area and keep in mind how much power it is that you're using, then it's just easier to try and grid things. Instead of just having one unit here doing a couple things. See, as here, this takes 400 watts, or gives 400 watts. We have two things using 120, so that's going to be 240, plus a 60. So we have a lot of extra power still being just stored. So having that in mind, having a separate room, helps even things out and use things up. What the... What the... How did you get up there? What the hell? I don't... How did that happen? I am so confused! Let's get you out of there before you die! What the hell? I knew I had a reason to not like her for some reason. There we go. Let's get you guys going! Jesus Christ! Like you have a death wish. Oh, and they're still in bed. Cool. But she's she's ready to work. Alright, we just got the research done for the supercomputer. So I think that's a great place to end this episode here. I think I'm going to turn this room up here either into another uh, farming station or into a research area. That way I can put my supercomputers and such in there and get things going quicker and get that area cleared out. So that's just a little update on this. I may play some more off screen and then give you guys updates as to what's going on with this area. I do hope you guys enjoy these videos of my oxygens not included. They're really different than what I normally do in the way of games because it's all strategy and thinking wise. And taking into account actual little bit of actual physics here. like. Oxygen goes up because it's lighter than carbon. Who would have thunk it? So it takes that extra bit in account. And then, of course, I'm making Yeah, you guys get the idea. Well, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Oxygen Not Included, I do hope you leave a like down there or a comment. 
if you want to see more, please make sure you let me know, otherwise I might just put this off and keep playing it on my own. Have a good one, guys. Bye!